Hey everybody, this is Dean and welcome to Photo Blue. Today I thought I'd show you how you can use the HSL control in DxO uh, Photo Lab 6 to fine tune colors or to totally change colors. Now I picked this photograph here uh, mainly because we kind of exaggerate the example. Uh, we have these different colors of uh, buildings right here or parts of the same building really. So there are segments of it that are different colors. And uh, I'm going to show you how it affects overall how you can control the color on here. But just be also aware that you can fine tune things just slightly. Like if you want to adjust green and foliage in a landscape, you can do that. If you want to adjust the blue in the sky, you can do that as well. And you have a fair amount of control using this uh, particular control as well. So if we go over here, um, normally you'd be here. If you go up to the color tab here, it brings up the uh, HSL tab right here. And there are a couple of ways you can use this. Um, you have these colors along the top. So we could pick red and this just kind of roughly um, selects anything that's kind of red and within the range of red. So if we look at this uh, uh, brown red building front and the text up here, which is red, I can take this outer ring. See, there's an inner ring and an outer ring. The in inner ring selects what your color or hue you're going to affect and the outer ring tells it what how much to change it. So if we change it over here to green, you can see that we've changed this front of the building and this text to green here. We can change it to any color we want. You can see I can actually kind of match this building to this other building if I want to. Uh, I can go and change it to any color. I can change it back to what it was. So this is the original of, of the color that it was right here. Uh, but this is kind of a rough uh, or or just this is specific colors and it's not really fine-tuned so much. So uh, let's reset this here and go back. We can go and take this hue picker right here. And uh, if we have the hue picker selected, I can, uh, I can select a color. And then it, it brings the range out a bit broader to, to, to what colors additional colors that, that covers. Now the inner ring has these two dots on either side. The upper dot is uh, kind of a, f a feathering uh, thing. Uh, it's kind of a fine-tuned thing and the inner dot really reduces uh, the color even more. So the colors it affects at the bottom it affects the most. At the top it kind of it feathers it off or it gradiates out to that color. Uh, so you may have to mess around with that to figure it out uh, and get used to it. Uh, but let's let's reset this and let's go back here. What I'm going to do now is to show you how much we can fine tune this. You'll notice the sky is blue. Uh, this building is blue and this other building is a darker blue. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to select this building right here. And I'm going to take the outer ring and move it around and let's move it around to green. And you can see this building changed, this building changed, and the sky changed. And particularly the sky we may not want to change. We may not care that much about this particular building, but the sky we care about. Well, I can actually fine tune it so it primarily only affects this building. So if we go in to this one side and take the top, remember that's kind of just doing how much it feathers or gradiates out. If we move the inner one and actually we need to uh, move this side. So if we move this bottom one on this lower side and maybe even the th th and the top. So if we move this side it's closer to these two colors and you see that they now come back to blue and this is still green. So you can see that we've actually picked out even the color of blue uh, in, in cyan that this affects so that we only change this uh, one building right here. So if we pull this back over 
on center this is the original color of the building and we can change that to whatever color we want so that's how you can fine tune this entire thing so you can you can affect just particular colors uh and you have a lot of control on that depending on 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 the photograph and and how close different colors are together uh, so that's how you use the uh, hue saturation and luminance um control in uh, dxo photo lab i'm dean and this has been photo blue and i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.